Well, progress is great, but every time we build something new here in Phoenix, we also have to tear something down. We lose a little bit of our history. 1984 was the year when a significant building in downtown Phoenix had to be destroyed. So from 25 years ago, here's reporter Mark Jones with a story of how that building fell, but how the people who took it down cared about the history. The old decaying heart of Phoenix. Dozens watched as it was almost surgically removed over the weekend. Six buildings, well over 60 years of history, gone in just three days. John Worsing is part owner of the demolition company which took down this neighborhood, took it down with honor. Anytime we take a building down, we do a history on it, and we find out that people build with pride. So why should we take it down with pride? So much pride that his company may be the only demolition company in the country which has a paid historian on its staff. So when these buildings went down, the memories would remain. The Goodrich building was built by a Mr. Goodrich, who was a traveling dentist. And he uh, started the building, and it was built like one or two floors every five, ten years until it reached the six-story height. Then on the corner over there at where the Newbury building is, at one time was a 200 uh, wagon corral. The company historian remembers this area where many Old West cowboys met their maker. An area which is now known as Broadway Alley there that with Hangman's Tree was in that location. Where and that was like, yeah, when it was a stagecoach uh, depot. And they would hang people. Right? Yes. You may remember driving by the Kresge building and seeing the logo. But what you probably didn't know is these letters are twenty-four karat gold. Gold plating men only cost thirty-four dollars an ounce. The letters, the ornate windows, and much more were pulled out long before the wrecking ball left its final blow. So pride is very much a part of this job. And the men on the demolition crew don't forget the men who built this building. Uh, they took a lot of pride in putting it up. I guess we take some pride in taking it down. Mark Jones, Channel 12 Action News. Great story. And we want to thank our photographer, Jay McSpadden, for digging through our archives every week to find those great stories. And by the way, tearing down those old historic buildings made way for projects such as Patriots Park and the Renaissance Square buildings.